Torco sulfur adhering modified bitumen membranes provide a safe and cost effective alternative to conventional roofing membranes. Sulfur adhering membranes do not require the use of torch or hot applied asphalt, thereby providing a safe, fast and clean application while offering superior waterproofing and pliability characteristics compared to that of conventional roofing materials. There are various steps that need to be followed to ensure proper application of sulfur adhering roofing membranes and Ray Lopez, our field technical services manager, will now walk you through the process. The applicator must verify that the substrate used at the project is approved by Tarco for adhesion of its self-adhering membranes. Ensure the material as well as the material interface temperatures are a minimum of 40 degrees Fahrenheit and rising. All materials and material interface must be clean, dry, and free of irregularities. Ensure any protruding nails are driven flush with the substrate prior to application of the self-adhered membrane. The self-adhering membrane may be applied to an acceptable mechanically attached base sheet, such as the Tarco Easy Lay or any of the Tarco acceptable substrates. In directed deck re-roof applications of self-adhering membranes, it is recommended to apply an ASTM D41 asphalt primer, a water-based acrylic primer, or a water-based polymer modified primer to the roof deck in order to enhance adhesion. It is very important to wait until the primer dries prior to installing the self-adhering membrane. It is preferable to cut the easy base membrane to manageable lengths of 12 to 15 feet. After the roll is cut to the desired lengths, take the first piece of the membrane and position it at the lowest point of the roof. Once the membrane is positioned, fold the membrane over, remove one half of the split release film and gently apply onto the substrate. The other half of the membrane shall be installed in like manner. A 21 inch wide piece is to be used as a starter course, which will allow for the staggering of the side lap of the preceding course, as well as the staggering of the end laps. Ensure the end laps of the easy base membrane are staggered. All end laps are to be a minimum of six inches and must be staggered a minimum of 36 inches from the preceding course on slopes less than or equal to two and 12 and 18 inches on slopes greater than two and 12. Membrane is to be rolled in place with a minimum 70 pound weighted roller on roof slopes equal to or greater than two and 12 and a minimum of a 28 pound weighted roller on roof slopes greater than 2 and 12. Now this is really important. Install the easy base membrane and perform a 45 degree angle cut on all the buried laps. For example, end laps and T-joints of the easy base membrane. Apply an SPS trial grade modified flashing cement adhesive that meets ASTM D4586 and D3409 along the area where the 45 degree angle cut was performed. The flashing cement or adhesive is applied in order to achieve contact and a minimum 1 8 inch of flashing cement adhesive bleed out in the designated area. It is necessary to prime all of the metal flashings with the recommended primers. A 6 inch wide strip of the easy base membrane needs to be applied to the drip edge flashing. The membrane is to be adhered to the primed flashing and is to cover half of the width of the flashing while the remaining width of the strip is to adhere to the base sheet. Once the easy base sheet has been installed as explained, it can be left exposed as a temporary roof for up to 30 days prior to the application of the Easy Stick Plus self-adhering modified bitumen cap sheet. Start installation of the Easy Stick Plus membrane along the drip edge. All end laps are to be a minimum of 6 inches and staggered a minimum of 36 inches from the preceding course on slopes less than or equal to 2 and 12 and 18 inches on slopes greater than 2 and 12. Apply an SPS trial grade modified flashing cement adhesive that meets ASTM D4586 and 3409 along the area where the 45 degree angle cut was performed. When addressing the granule over granule end laps or any other granule over granule contact, it is acceptable to use SPS trial grade modified flashing cement adhesive in those areas or a hot air welder to achieve the necessary adhesion. It is necessary to roll the subject areas on the Easy Stick Plus membrane once the flashing cement and adhesive is applied to achieve contact and a minimum of a 1 8 inch adhesive bleed out. 
When employing either of these procedures, it is necessary to roll the membrane in place in order to ensure 100% contact of the surfaces. Flash all penetrations with a target patch of the same membrane, which is to extend a minimum of four inches from the edge of the penetration base flashing and is to be set in one eighth inch thick uniform layer of SPS trial grade modified bitumen flashing cement adhesive throughout the contact area. The target patch must then be hand rolled in place in order to ensure contact and achieve a minimum of a 1 8 inch of flashing cement adhesive bleed out in the designated area. This completes the application process. It is important that applicators refer to the local authority having jurisdiction prior to the installation of any roofing membrane to ensure application of such membranes are in compliance with the local building code. It is also important that applicators follow recommended roofing practices and guidelines as outlined by the National Roofing Contractors Association. During installation, it is highly recommended that the applicator use common sense measures and take adequate safety precautions and comply with occupational safety and health administration safety standards. Please visit www.tarcoroofing.com for product data sheets, material safety data sheets, code body approvals, warranties, and technical bulletins for the entire line of Tarco roofing membranes.